Okay, so I had a, um, a viewer ask, does it really make a difference using the aluminum heat sink versus the copper one that comes with the 65 watt units? And this is something that I've been interested in myself. And um, just to see, and, and what you're looking at here is the actual rig that I currently use um, just for my normal day-to-day, -day, for doing the videos, etc. This has an i5-7500T. This is a G3 unit. And um, I've like I've really liked to change this out, grab the copper from my 65-watt um, system and stick it in there. Um, I've already previously started using the um, this sort of corrugated, uh, vented um, top cover that I, again, sort of stole from my 65 watt, and I'm using it on here. <laughs> One of the reasons I'm using it is because I had the cover off, and I didn't realize, and I was looking around for it, and I'm going, wait a minute, where did I put it? And I sat on it. It was sitting on my chair. So, um, you know, <laughs> word of caution, if you're doing stuff and you're pulling covers off and et cetera, et cetera, put them in a place not that someone could sit on. So anyway, I started using this one. Um, it fits a lot better. I think the other one's probably okay. I was able to kind of bend and move it around. But in either way, I wanted to see start using this one anyway, even though it's got the wrong sticker on it. Uh, the other one has the, um, the i5 seventh generation little sticker versus this guy, but uh, I'll live um, just to be able to get to. So already I'm starting out with a combination of that's, that's probably a little bit better by having the ventilation, but I want to try it with the, um, uh, copper, but I want to get some benchmarks first. Uh, I want to do a little bit of, I don't know, torture test or um, heavy load on it, see what kind of temps we get, then put in the copper and try the same steps and see what we get also with that. So I'll go ahead and put this back on, um, hook everything up, um, start up the capture, uh, run some, some, um, you know, uh, temperature, uh, see how it is. Then we'll come back and we'll stick in the copper. Because again, this is something that I've wa wanted to do myself. And a viewer was asking, so well, might as well do it. I guess, you know, there's also been some talk that the fan is a little, eh, I don't know. Does it look that much different, these two fans? I guess... Eh, not to my eye, but you guys can let me know. Uh, some people have said that sometimes these fans look different, but maybe that's in the later generations, like the the G4, G5, uh, 65 watt. But I'll, I'll I'll probably keep it in this one. But this is the main thing we want to take out um, right now. This has a um, I think I think sitting in here is a 6500T, so it's not going to make a difference if I swap them. Uh, I'll just end up with this weird sort of downplayed one. You'll notice already I've downplayed. This is using the um, the standard 35 watt um, uh, uh, drive caddy instead of the one that's got the fan. I was just getting tired of the fan there. It's just hard to, to take these guys out. You got to, you know, disconnect everything. So I ended up sticking that one, I believe, into the parts uh, computer that I picked up um, in, a, in a prior video. Okay, um, so I started up this computer with, um, you know, from a dead stop. Uh, let it settle for a little bit. You can see we've been doing temperature readings for a little over four minutes. It's been vacillating, I would say, on, you know, it's showing an average about 53 uh, Celsius, which sounds about right. Um, it is a warmer um, day, uh, but um, I don't think that's going to affect it too much. This is probably a little bit more than than um, normal, but not not too much. 
Uh, to be honest, I don't, I'm not always looking at uh, the temps to see what they're, they're at. But what we'll try to do is run something that will put a load and we'll do a heavy load for five minutes and see what kind of uh, temps we get. We have uh, this guy, this heavy load. We'll go ahead, we'll just do CPU usage and we'll run that for five minutes. Well, <clears throat> after five minutes, it actually didn't do so bad. It was, I, as I was watching it, core temps would kind of vacillate between 63, 64. Um, you see you've got a maximum of uh, 67 here. Um, so, but not, not too bad, it's still going. I'm gonna stop it now and see what happens with the temps. Fan is still going. Uh, and it was going pretty much the whole time. I uh, de definitely could feel the uh, um, air being pumped out the back there. Um, it's cooling down pretty quickly here. Fan speed is going down and it's pretty much coming back to normal. Uh, that looks actually pretty good considering, I mean, it didn't take it that long to go back. So, um, but that will kind of give us an idea of what to look for when we put in the um, copper to see if we see much difference. Okay, what, what I'm gonna do is grab the copper from this unit so that I can swap it out with the other one. Just undo this. Let's move this fan. Not drop it on the CPU, okay. Um, the thermal on here is actually pretty new. I was debating whether to even bother, you know, doing a, um, uh, a repaste. So I may just take this and uh, swap it with, with the other one. And here's, well, it's, it's warmish. We'll move this out of the way. And I made sure that when I took the, the cover off that I didn't put it on my seat. And we don't want a repeat of the, uh, the uh, other fiasco. Okay. And yeah, again, Pretty similar as far as the paste. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of stick this over on the other one. Okay, now we'll put the copper. Get that in there, there's number one. Helps if I tighten instead of loosen. Okay, put this a little bit. Tighten that down a little. Okay. All right, let's. One. Two and three. Okay, let's put the fan back. And our normal, our vented cover. And uh, we'll run some more benchmarks then. The core temperature uh, it's kind of vacillating here. It's it's maybe you know a couple degrees here and there cooler, but the thing that that's really surprising is how quiet the fan is. It's almost like it's not even running. I, I'm I'm kind of surprised. Let, let's uh, um, well, I guess when we go to do the, um, the the full heavy load, we can see what that looks like. But uh, and as far as sound, but uh, let I'm very curious now to see what that's going to look like. 
I I don't know. I must be going blind. I'm trying to find where the fans are located uh, as far as the sensors. I could have sworn I remember seeing them, but oh well. Uh, it's definitely quieter. Okay, we're going to run this heavy load for five minutes and see what happens to the temps. Well, let's see. So it definitely, I would say, it's a couple degrees cooler. Um, it's still running at uh, full right now. Let's, uh, let's stop it and see. Okay, it's starting to cool down. Um, you know, you, you save a couple... You know, a couple degrees Celsius with the copper but the other thing that I found was that um, when I was running it at um, the full heavy load the fan just didn't sound as I don't know strained as it did uh, with the aluminum so it felt like the heat sink was doing some of the work or more of the work than the aluminum so I mean it's um, I was expecting, kind of going into this, that there'd be a dramatic difference in temperatures. Um, I didn't think about fan speed, though, and um, that's often a um, an issue. Let's say in cases where people want to use the um, unit, maybe to hook up to their TV, and they just don't want all this extra sound, and they want to keep it down. So perhaps with the uh, um, going with the copper heat sink might might be a good way to do that and keep the the, the noise level. Uh, I did just do a quick perusal of eBay looking for um, just the 65 watt the copper heat sinks. Um, they're there. You just have to really look for them. Um, I saw prices anywhere from 15 to 25. Um, so you are paying a premium for just that, you know, specific thing. You could also look for, um, you know, the parts computers. If you can find a 65 watt that has the uh, uh, the parts, that might be one thing. If you want to do the uh, kind of the uh, Frankenstein uh, 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 computer like I've, I've put together here. Um, I'm not personally a big fan of, of, of course, modifications to, to the unit that are, um, you know, like cutting stuff up and so forth. Um, but I feel in this case, you're trying to pull in the best from all of the units into one. And, um, and this way you get it. So I'm, I'm gonna leave the, the copper. Um, I'm liking the, the, the quiet. So that's, that's definitely a plus. So, you know, uh, uh, hopefully this answers uh, that uh, viewer's question.